Terry Fox Run in its 40th year is getting underway in Saskatoon. We have Tony Wood with the uh, Terry Fox Committee here in Saskatoon, shedding some light today on what's going to be happening on September 20th. Tony, thank you so much for making some time for us today. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for having me, Randy. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. I remember as a teenager, the Terry Fox Run and uh, the emotional toll that took on me, the the personal cheering that we had as a group uh, watching him go across Canada and, and cutting short in Thunder Bay. Um, tell us about what's happened with the foundation and what we're going to be doing this year on September 20th. Well, absolutely, Randy. It's, uh, it's a very important story for Canadians nationwide, and uh, we do our best here in Saskatoon to kind of keep that spirit alive. Um, as I've kind of mentioned to you beforehand, it's uh, the Terry Fox runs, obviously, as with many or events uh, in, in Saskatchewan, is running a bit differently this year. Um, we're going to be running things virtually. Everybody's going to be doing their own run independently, uh, connecting to one another via social media and through the new Terry Fox Run app. Um, so the main thing is just we're not doing that main uh, group gathering as we would typically do every year, but uh, we're going to continue gathering in spirit and uh, raising money for cancer research like we would any other year. I think that's a key thing to touch on, and, and that is that in this age of doing things differently, this is still going to happen. Uh, and, and I commend the committee for taking this head on and finding the, the way to do that. It, it's important that uh, there not be a hiccup, if you will, uh, in the process. Uh, you have some pictures from years past. If, if we're going to glean on that for those of us that have taken part, what would we need to do? What will be happening uh, in the days ahead, registering and getting ready for this? Well, absolutely. For those who are interested, I would definitely recommend just heading on over to terryfox.org um, where you can register to fundraise on their website. Um, essentially, you create a, play, a pledge page that you can share with your friends and family and just say, hey, listen, I'm running the Terry Fox run. I'm looking to raise money for cancer research. You can donate here on the website. And, um, and then, yeah, essentially sharing about as much as you can about the run and um, Terry's mission and kind of the work of the foundation. Um, as I've kind of mentioned, the foundation is the kind of authority that all the money goes towards. And uh, then the runs are typically administered locally through these committees. Um, I will largely credit the foundation for much of work that has gone into making things go virtual. But, um, you know, our committee has remained engaged, uh, obviously, with um, working with the media to spread the spread the news about the new run format. Um, and we're kind of looking forward to maybe do uh, a bit more promotion kind of going forward. We have yet to kind of solidify everything, but um, if you keep an eye on our social media pages, um, we'll definitely be uh, providing updates consistently. So, yeah. Tell me if uh, I was going to participate and I have been used to gathering at a certain spot on a certain day at a certain time, uh, will I just be getting the pledges individually and then going and, and walking, running on my own? Or is, is there a route that we'll be observing or any distance that we'll be covering? Completely up to the folks who are involved. Um, I believe I just took a look at the run app before this meeting here, and it looks like most people are just kind of running their own custom routes, um, sharing it with about as many people as they can and registering through the Terry Fox run app. Um, that's how a lot of people are going about sharing their, their, uh, routes. Um, and yeah, and essentially running in either, either with yourself or in a responsibly isolated group. And, um, and yeah, the pledges are typically, you know, even year to year, they've always been collected online. So that wasn't too much of a shift, but, uh, that's kind of going forward as, as per usual. I think that's uh, a very important point you touched on earlier, and that was with any of the funds that are raised locally, that they're reinvested in the community as locally as they can be with the research and, and treatment that's going on. Do we have a sense of, of what we've uh, raised over the years and what we can expect uh, going forward on September 20th this year? I'm really happy you asked, Randy. Um, we have seen incredible support through our online donors um, throughout the years. And so we're kind of anticipating, I mean, I'm at least anticipating similar figures, but I'll share some of the previous uh, year's numbers here. So um, 
I have some in front of me here. Last year in 2019, um, we had about 300 registered runners um, who turned out to the Besborough Gardens to participate in the Terry Fox run, um, raised about uh, $30,000 cumulatively. Um, so that was our 2019 run. Um, 2018, I believe we had a few more. It looks like we had uh, about 35,000 raised and fewer registered runners, actually 230. But yeah, we tend to hover around that uh, 30,000 to 35,000 annually with uh, about you know, 250 to 300 runners annually. So um, you know, this year with everything going online, I'm, I'm really hoping to have you know, just about as many people registered, if not more, as people become more aware of kind of all these online processes that are in place. Can you tell me if uh, the, the run and the walk is actually on, on the 20th itself? If I happen to do that, maybe the weather was better on the 19th or something like that. Can I do that on my own time independently of uh, the run on the 20th as long as I do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's plenty of ways to participate. Um, Outside of outside of the actual run day itself, um, there are other challenges through the Terry Fox Run app that you can register for. There's the Train with Terry challenge that I was taking a look at, um, which I believe can kind of you know obviously be at your leisure and uh, you know you yourself training for the Terry Fox Run. Uh, so that can kind of be done whichever days you'd prefer. Um, and again, any any pledge collected goes directly to the foundation. Um, at any time so and I know they're always they're always accepting donations so it doesn't necessarily need to be submitted on the run day specifically um another good thing to bring up and I I know this isn't directly related to your your question Randy but I did um another thing to note about the Terry Fox Foundation is that the funds donated um a surprising amount goes directly towards um cancer research in comparison to um other fundraisers I know it's you know, a lot, not a lot of money goes towards marketing or any kind of sponsorship opportunities. You know, the Terry Fox Foundation is has a policy to follow to you know keep things as focused on cancer research as possible. Um, so I think it usually hovers around you know something like eighty to eighty five percent or eighty to eighty five cents on the dollar uh, goes directly to cancer research when people donate to the Terry Fox Foundation. So uh, just something I wanted to note, uh, just in that in that vein. Well, it's been a very credible organization from the start. It's pleased, uh, I'm pleased to see it, you know, continue on with that uh, legacy, if you will. It was, uh, and still is a, an invigorating uh, feeling that I get when I see some of the footage of him uh, struggling at the end. Uh, if people wanted to get a hold of you, Tony, and, and participate and uh, bump the numbers up and uh, may really make a difference, where would they get a hold of you or how would they get involved? That's uh, that's great to tie things off here, Randy. I um, the best way to get uh, get in touch with our organization is definitely through our, our social media pages. Um, so our, our Facebook page is quite active. We are at um, Saskatoon Terry Fox Run, and we've got a, an active page there. Um, you could message us through the Facebook application or on their website. Um, we also have the Terry Fox Twitter, which is operational. We're at Terry Fox Run YXE. Um, I believe there's a messaging function on there as well, which would be um, really great to get in touch with us. So, um, you know, that would be a point of contact for your local committee. Um, as for getting registered for the run, again, strongly encourage visiting terryfox.org uh, to, to essentially get registered uh, for the run on the 20th. Tony, I think that's a great way to end this off. Thank you for taking some time and uh, sharing that with us. Uh, all of you watching and can participate uh, please do that in an effort to uh, finally get some headway like we have been doing in the past number of years. Tony, thank you to you and your committee. Uh, stay with us, folks. We're coming right back. Mm -hmm.